Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today I've got something um, a little different for you guys. Um, as you know, I play a quite a bit of Dead by Daylight on my PC since I've come into the PC world. Um, but one thing that differs um, Dead by Daylight than, say, Friday the 13th, the game that I come from, um, Friday the 13th, you could sort of uh, adjust the gamma to brighten the game up, so to speak. Well, Dead by Daylight, you really can't do that. Um, but I actually found a way how to do that on PC. Um, this works with any um, GeForce NVIDIA graphics card. It will not work with AMD. Um, basically, all you've got to do, and if you got a, you're using the GeForce graphics card, you should have this software anyway. Um, you go and download this software right here. It is the uh, GeForce Experience. You just download it, and basically, it'll optimize your gameplay. Um, it uh, it um, it will update the drivers for your graphics card. See, I've got a um, GeForce NVIDIA 1660, um, and whenever there's updates for your specific graphic card, um, it'll actually tell you, hey, you got to update. You need to update it. Uh, but once you download this, right here is the download. I will actually put this in the description below. Um, you can go on your Dead by Daylight and press alt z alt z and as you can see there's a couple of different things you can actually broadcast live from this um, you can record uh, instant replay you can screenshot you can do a photo mode but right here on the left is a little thing it says game filter now you can press alt um, plus f3 to get this to pop up but i'm just doing it this way now you can tell over here there's three different settings there is a three a two and a one now these three settings are presets um, i actually recommend going in and making your own setting um, to your own liking now as you can tell the it's off right now this is the, what the game looks like from dead by daylight everybody that loads into the game it looks like this but if you go over here to my game filter watch the difference in the screen bam did you see how much better that looks i put a sharpening on it a color filter and a brightness and contrast now my three settings uh, which is sharpening color brightness and contrast um, on my sharpening i have a intensity of 100 and an ignore film gain uh, as 100 i got them both turned all the way up um, for the color the color the tint color is at zero the the tint intensity is zero the temperature is dead middle and my vibrance is at 48 all right now my brightness and my contrast the exposure is at 10 percent contrast is at flat zero the highlight is six the shadow is a negative 18 percent and the gamma is 15 percent now this is the setting that works best for me um, you guys are more than welcome to play around it and get this setting that you want, but that's the setting that works for me. I think the game uh, looks really good, clean and crisp. Um, you can see stuff, and like I say, we'll go back to it and I'll show you what it looks like with the filter that I have set uh, turned off. Go back to Alt Z, go back over to filter, turn it off, and that's what you're left with. It's a little bit darker, it's a little bit washed out. Um, once you get into those some of those dark maps it's really hard to see so this uh filter right here the uh, sharpening and the color and the brightness contrast will really accentuate your game and really help you out um if you guys have any questions uh feel free to uh leave a comment hope this helps somebody out much love to you guys god bless you i'm out of here later guys